Oh my god, this is... Uh, this is so weird and, uh, you know, um, sinister. What time is it now? Everybody's going uh, to be asleep at the guild. Should I even go inside and just sleep there? I don't know, maybe we should go to an inn. Hello! So wonderful to see you again. Hello! Done without your help. Nice to see you too. She didn't have any dialogue. Any at all. It's you. Hi. Yeah, it's me. Hello, Wilbur. How are you doing? Long time no see. What can I do for you? Uh, what do you know about what happened in Anvil? I ran here as soon as it happened. I don't even know why. I just... I needed to be here. The prophet speaks true. Ooh. This is the start of something terrible. I can feel it in my bones. So do I. That's why I ran here. I don't know what I can do, but I just... I couldn't refuse this call. What about the prophet, then? You should listen to him preach. He may sound crazy at first, but the longer you listen, the more sense he makes. <sighs> well, I will... Go to him, but uh, I, I, I've, uh, Wilbur, I've been riding from Leowin. I've done a whole one ride to get here, so I just need to have a bed. Please. There's a wonderful room available. It's the best I have, and you can use it for the night for a mere 25 gold. Interested? I'm fine with it. Excellent. It's up the stairs there, and then directly across the hallway. Center room, wonderful view of the city, sleep well. That's great. Oh, do you have some tea? Only quality goods for sale here. Oh, what can I... In you do. Oh, Grakasha still has some things to eat, but uh, I'm going to buy some tea. fine cheese. bargain for you. Another satisfied customer. Thank you very much. She's hungry. She's tired. Um, she's safe, though. She's gonna sleep. Tomorrow morning she's gonna go to the guild. And then she's gonna go to find this prophet. Oh, wow. This is a nice room indeed. Oh. 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 God, the plate. Oh, I could eat that. Well, we are gonna. All right, we are gonna eat all this stuff. So we are gonna save some for the morning, like the cheese and the apple. Oh, very good together. Oh, and cheese and grapes. So uh, we're gonna eat the pie and the potato and the mushrooms and the leeks. And the rest, I'm gonna eat tomorrow morning. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. Oh. <sighs> good God, Krakash. <sighs> Tea. <sighs> Could have drunk the wine, but Krakash is not in the mood. She only drinks with company. Oof. Well, see you tomorrow morning, guys. Something is about to happen, and Grakash can just feel it. Good morning, it's a good day. 8.15, and we are going to rush to the guild after we've got some breakfast. Um, <laughs> everything. And, ah, uh, let's go. This was a very nice room. 
Indeed. Nakash never stayed here, but a lot of people in Nanville were staying Greetings. here. Oh, good God! Greetings, Shishani! I heard there was some <sighs> around here recently. <sighs> you frightened me. Creatures. Horrible things. I hear that the high elves train them. I can't imagine Hello. it. They say that Farewell. They murder someone. The Dark Brotherhood comes to you in your sleep. Good morning, Wilbur. I'm going to the guild. Bye. Yeah. <sighs> Anvil is still beautiful. So tragic that this accident had had to happen here. What? What? Aiden, where did I get the topic? Back inside the. Hello. Hello, back inside the the inn. Oh, what a pity! I don't know. I I I didn't hear any dialogue. Kara Hill, good morning. I hope I can help. How are you doing? How are you guys doing? Oh, she has nothing to say. Bye. Thank you very much. So, Karahil and Grakash had uh, a, a chat. Hello, Thoron. Hello, Sparky. Hey, guys. They are a little bit traumatized well because... Met, well met. Because of what happened here in Anvil. Everybody is upset here in Anvil. Anyway, Grakash can stay at the guild if she wants. Uh, Karahil uh, told her she can. There are no apprentices. I really don't understand where I'm picking up these topics. I try, I'm trying to understand where I'm picking them up, but um, I will let that rest. We are going to the chapel, um, or better, to the prophet. Karahil told us that he is right in front of the church. Let us join as one to fortify this Hello, place. Gogan. This land, these people, each one glorious under heaven. Oh, lost oh Grakash is gonna try and get uh, into the church because she'd Tariel like to pray. I wouldn't go in there unless you have a strong stomach. We have orders to leave everything just the way it was until the investigation into the chapel attack is finished. Can I know something about this investigation? I was... I'm sorry. I know I shouldn't, but I was really close with the priestesses in there. It's baffling. How anyone could have gotten in and out of there without being seen by our patrols is beyond me. Maybe that prophet is right. Some kind of unholy doom visited upon us. I... I feel that's it. I cannot explain, but I have this feeling. Oh. Do you have any information about the prophet? He preaches most of the day across the street from the chapel. Yeah. I used to think he was crazy, but now he seems to be making some kind of sense. <laughs> I hope that doesn't mean I'm going crazy now. Well, I haven't listened to him yet, but I totally intend to, of course. Good day. Good day. How terrible could it be inside the church? <sighs> well, Grakash wasn't expecting this bad. She wishes. She had listened to the guard outside, now. This is truly terrible. This is not... <gasps> so, you are supposed to find the corpses of the priestesses as well in here uh, but uh, I think uh, my, my game might be 
bugged. Um, I didn't remove the bodies. Rakashi is starting to think that nothing human could have done this. We could say that the bodies had to be removed for, of course, sanitary reasons. <sighs> Look at Dybella's stained glass window! Look at Dybella's holy image! Defiled! <laughs> Look at that glitch! I'm sorry. Greca, she's unable to read those letters. She's not that much of a scholar. <laughs> Truja would probably be able to read that. If there is something supernatural involved here, will the Mages Guild be contacted? Will the university be contacted? Maybe. Grakash wanted to pray, but she's going away. I think the blood inside the altar did it for her. That's enough. Raise your eyes to the heavens oh Lord. to see the truth. They're written. You pour over your dusty tomes of lore. You study ancient genealogies and bloodlines. Look you to blood for truth. There is truth in blood, but not the truth that... Uh, excuse is me. Is there no one who would stand for the nine? Uh, excuse me. There are law masters among you. Heads so heavy with learning that you cannot raise your eyes to the heavens to see the truth. They're written. Uh. I am Siradil Come. He said, old Riemann, born from the earth that is Alesh, and yet he would scorn this country now. Repent, I say. Repent! The eight and one require a champion, a divine crusader reborn. The blood of the Bella's slaughtered acolytes cries out for vengeance. Vengeance! Who will take up this holy crusade? Excuse me. Oh, my. To what do I owe this honor? I am but a humble prophet. What business do you have with me? Ah. Uh, I feel... I'm... I'm... Um, I'm here. I'm... Inspired by your words, and... I've been riding straight from Leowin as soon as I heard what happened here. I could not explain myself why. After hearing your words, I think. Maybe I know. I know I have to do something. This is only the beginning. Umaril has returned, as foretold by Pelinal Whitestrake, in his dying breath. All right, guys, so... Ooh. Now, for the sake of exposition, <laughs> I will ask all the questions and everything, but if you remember, Grakash spent a whole year in the Coral Abbey, and she sort of knows who Pelinal was, she knows uh, who Alessia was, she knows everything about the faith of the Nine, so she knows about Umaril, she knows about all these stories. Um, she would know exactly what the Prophet is talking about. Umaril! Umaril the Unfathered! The Sorcerer King of the Aliens, who ruled over this land for long ages before the rise of men! He was cast down by Pelinal Whitestrake! But Umaru's spirit survived, 
and now he has returned to seek vengeance upon the gods. You're talking about Pelinal Whitestrake, Alessia's companion. Oh, does no one remember the old tales? I do. Saint Pelinal, the divine crusader of legend. Alicia's companion when she overthrew the rule of the aliens 3,000 years ago. Pelinal, with the aid of the gods, fought the alien sorcerer King Umaril and slew him. But Umaril's spirit survived, and he has now returned. Abided nine. I, I believe you, I feel inside me that this is true. But who attacked the chapel then? It must have been a human. Do you understand nothing? The blood speaks. I can read the ancient runes if you cannot. I cannot. <laughs> As Uibala. Umarale Elnada Rakuva In the alien tongue By the eternal power of Umaril The mortal gods shall be cast down A curse upon Umaril's ancient foes And a threat This is terrible But so that's why nobody saw anything, because this was... This was a greater power doing this. A greater power against the Nine. So how do we stop Umaril? I, I can't even imagine that he could be here in any form. Alas, Umaril cannot be stopped. Not without the aid of the gods, not without the Crusader's relics. <sighs> without a champion, the gods are powerless to act. But who among us is worthy to wield the divine Crusader's weaponry? Well, well uh, I'm nothing special, but in truth, I've been knighted officially by... The Count of Leowin. I did spend one year as a lay sister in the Abbey of Coral, where I devoted myself to the faith in search of my purpose. And then I've become, by my own initiative, part of the Order of the Hours. I work as a knight for them to accompany the pilgrim during their pilgrimage. <laughs> Grakash is <laughs> doing a job interview. <laughs> I think this is it. I will quest for the relics. You would quest for the holy panoply of Pelinal White Strike? The legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages? Well... Are you a worthy knight? I am a knight. Worthy? I don't know if I'm worthy. Well... I don't have any claim to fame. That's true. I can't believe I clicked the, uh, on the wrong answer. Just... <laughs> well, anyway. Now I'm gonna click on the right one. Because Grakash doesn't really have any claim to fame. Her humble work is a good deed. An amazingly good deed. But I don't think that's what this prophet is asking about. I expected... To have the option that says I'm uh, a knight of Leowin. A humble heart is a good starting point. The gods will decide if you are worthy to seek the relics. Indeed. How can I find them? I mean, actually, Grakash knows where one is. It's in Coral, uh, because, again, as I've explained, uh, She's been there in the Abbey as a lay sister. The gods grant insight to those they deem worthy. Why and how they act is not predictable. Of course. What I can tell you is that, <clears throat> traditionally, 
knights who wished to quest for the relics would walk the pilgrim's way, travel to the way shrines of the nine divines, pray to each of the gods in turn, and ask their favor upon your quest. Of course. If the gods deem you worthy, you will be granted a sign. Go forth with the nine's blessings. Yes, of course. So, Grakash has done the pilgrimage, but not all of it. Um, she's done it with the pilgrims, but only on certain routes. So, this will be the first time she does it for herself. And to ask for a specific um, favor. So, this is going to be very important. Walking the pilgrim's way is the traditional start of a holy quest. Indeed. Follow the map I gave you, visit the way shrines of the nine, pray, and wait for a sign. I feel I can do this. I feel it in my heart. Once there were eight divines. Then... Tiber Septum became Talos, and the eight became nine. I followed the old way of honoring the eight while also giving due to Talos, the one who ascended. Yes, indeed, Grakash knows uh, about this uh, custom. Um, she's fine with it. It's perfectly legal. She does worship all the nine divines together, but what the prophet is saying is correct per what she studied uh, at the abbey. The weapons and armor of Pelinal Whitestrake, Alicia's comrade granted to him by the eight divines. He went alone into the white gold tower, challenged the alien sorcerer King Umeril a single combat and slew him. Alas, Umaril was not truly slain, but only cast beyond the bounds of Nern. And now he has returned to wreak his vengeance upon the gods, as was prophesied by Pelinal himself with his dying breath. Indeed. Only a true knight Wielding the holy relics of the Divine Crusader has a chance to defeat Umaro. But alas for Tamriel, the Crusader's relics have been lost for many an age. Indeed. Who now can succeed in the quest for the relics where the greatest knights of legend all failed? Well... I will try. But then, is Umaril himself back? He was defeated but not destroyed by Pelinal the Crusader. Now he has returned to seek vengeance against the gods. Only a true knight, welding the holy relics of the divine Crusader, has a chance to defeat Umaril. Well then, he repeated himself a bit, but we've exhausted all the topics. May the eight and one guide your steps. <sighs> Is there no one who would... S what just happened? Hey, Milona. How nice to see you again. Hey. Rakash just accepted a holy mission. <laughs> Without uh, hesitation, she feels now confused, but the strength she saw in the prophet guided her, and she could only succumb nice to, to see you again. his request. There are no doubts. Hi there. Hey. Oh. Let's take a look at this map. 
Rakash is going to do this and if the gods are going to favor her after the pilgrimage she's gonna do it she's gonna be the champion because at the end she she cannot be afraid and she cannot refuse because if the gods are calling her she has no choice you see well then Grakash will stay in Anvil probably for a couple of days she wants to start her pilgrimage as soon as possible but she needs to send a couple of letters she's pretty sure all her friends will understand what she's doing and will approve but she does need to write to Elise and Dharma Aita Agnete but more importantly she needs to write a letter to the Order of the Hours because they need to be notified that she will probably not be able to come back to work after her uh, holiday. Grakash seriously doubts that she could do uh, this pilgrimage in a fortnight. She feels bad about that, but she thinks that the order of the hours uh, will absolutely approve of this. Especially if she gets selected. Because it's gonna be good PR. <laughs> she's still not wearing their uniform, as I've said, because that's what she works with, and she's not been officially sent by them to do this. This is more important than anything else. Priestesses have been killed, and Grakash might have the chance to make this right. All the things she's done, everything has aligned and directed her to this very purpose. And look at the weather turning horrible. Milona, I think it's better if we... Um, um, get inside something. Oh, good lord. Afternoon. Afternoon. Let's go have a bite with the... The guys at the guild. How nostalgic it is to be in this very guild. Guys, I'm going for a holy pilgrimage and a holy mission. I need to write a couple of letters. I think I know what I'm doing. I feel like something is guiding me. I will I will prevail. And if I won't, then I will have tried. <sighs> Hello, guildmate. Hello, Mark. Thoron is excited for Greca. She's like, look at this girl. You go. Go get it. <laughs> go get your God's blessing and become a holy crusader. <laughs> and Mark is like... Well met, guildmate. <laughs> in awe. 